In this video I'm going to show you how I converted the standard SEMA X8C camera into an FPV camera. It also uses the same power connection which the original camera used to power the um, camera and the transmitter. So stay with me and I'll show you how I've done it. Now today I'm going to be talking about the uh, SEMA X8C's camera. The camera is not really that great so what I was what I've been wanting to do is, is uh, the FPV camera which I made, wireless camera, 5.8 gigahertz. I want to fit this into here, into this case, and uh, I usually use one of these batteries here, which is a uh, I can't remember now, um, 380 milliamp hour. Uh, one cell lipo but I don't really want to have to put that in there and then take it apart every time to charge it and um, so I've done a bit of investigation on this camera here and it seems like the uh, X8C outputs um, just under 5 volts so it's probably got like a 5 volt regulator in so I thought, well then, let's uh, get rid of the battery completely and just mount it inside here and connect this cable here to the output on the SEMA X8C and take the uh, 5 volt output and input that into this camera here. Now I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. I don't know what the um, output is for the uh, camera, what the, how much um, milliamps this is consuming, but I should think that would probably power this, but I'm going to take a chance and try it anyway, um, so here we go, I've already taken this apart, took a few screws out to make it quicker. So the wire's just held in place with that rubber grommet. And then there's just four screws on the camera itself, which I've already removed for quickness. <coughs> and there we go, there's the camera. So as you can see we've got these um, three wires which come from the um, 3.5 inch jack. I mean, if you've got one of these jacks hanging around, I have probably got one somewhere, but it's like anything, when you want something, you can't find it. So, um, yeah, uh, you've got, well, on this one, there's a red wire, blue wire, and then a um, copper wire. And on the board, luckily, it tells you what they do. The red is positive, blue is negative, and then I presume this one is the one that sends a signal to the camera to start it to record or take a picture. So we're probably not going to need this. Well, we're definitely not going to need it. So I'm going to use a soldering iron. And remove There we go, that's removed. I'll keep that just in case I want it for anything else. Probably never use it again, but never know, may do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the two wires onto my um, FPV camera. Got that connected up. 
And I'm just going to uh, plug it into the Seamer X8C and uh, see if it works. Right, so I've got the battery plugged in and I've got the FPV camera plugged into the 3.5mm output jack of the uh, Seamer X8C. It should hopefully supply the power required. So I've got my um, tablet here connected up to the um, 5.8 gig receiver. And right, so I'll switch it on and see what happens. There we go. And there we go, that's the picture. So it definitely looks like it's got enough power there. So there we go. Yep, so it's looking good anyway, so now that's um done. Just turn that off. Now I'm just gonna try to fit this up inside the plastic housing, which will probably be uh just stick it in with hot glue basically and then cut a hole out for the antenna okay so you can see I've got the camera there that's glued in I've also put a bit of hot glue on the wires to make sure that they don't come loose and then the transmitter board and the antenna is behind it and that all fits in there nicely plenty of space to spare and then just goes straight out to the original jack Okay, so there's the camera connected, looks good. Got the wire plugged in there, and let's turn it on and try it. I've got it connected up to my tablet at the moment. And there we go. Working perfectly. Okay, I want to thank you all for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.